One of the best ways to become a better writer is to become a more widely read reader. And so today I'm going to recommend a book that is fairly well unknown, but is an enjoyable short read and also a great example of conversational writing done exquisitely well. Ben Stein's Hollywood Days, Hollywood Nights. You're probably more familiar with Stein these days as an occasional TV commentator on economic matters, but you may remember that his first media breakthrough came more than 30 years ago when he played the interminably dull economics teacher in the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Stein had trained as an economist and as a writer. He was a writer for the Nixon White House. And his journey from there to the present took him through a period where he was a Hollywood screenwriter. And this book contains about six months of his diary entries from right around the time he did the Ferris Bueller Project. If you grew up in and around Hollywood, you'll read this with a shock of recognition. If you're not familiar with Hollywood, you'll look at it and probably be quite glad that that's not your world. It's a funny book. It has its moments of poignancy, but what it shows you as a writer is just what can be done with a simple narrative format, in this case, a slightly punched up diary format covering about six months of the man's life. Again, it's a short read. It's a hilarious, fun, fascinating read, and it's one of the best examples I've seen of the diary form. I cannot highly enough recommend Ben Stein's Hollywood Days, Hollywood Nights. It's out of print, but you should be able to find it very inexpensively at used bookstores, and it is well worth the read, both for the humorous and thoughtful content and for its example of the diary form done to a very high level.